I've been called a rabble rouser, a firebrand, an agitator, a troubled man, but I never had trouble unless someone had trouble with me. I was raised up in a salvage yard, for the fear of God, and work hard. My family makes the best dang squeezers in Tennessee. And a salvage yard shine boy's all I'll ever be. You gotta be good if you're gonna be a law bender, a food digger, a hillbilly bartender. I ain't no telling in these hills what's a cook and render. He's working hard for his pay. I'm a family man and I work hard, dragging these cars around a dirty old salvage yard. Undercover operator, yeah, the real McCoy. Oh, I'm gonna cook and stuff you. A salvage yard shine boy. The harder you work, the harder you play But sometimes playing hard here don't agree with the law But an outlaw, he ain't a bad guy If he don't get caught, you gotta be good If you're gonna be a law bender, a bootlegger, a hillbilly bartender I Ain't no telling in these hills what's a cook and render He's working hard for his pay Salvage yard shine boy. <laughs> well, I'm a salvage yard shine boy. And I reckon that's all I'll ever be is a salvage yard shine boy. Y'all watch out now, you hear. You going to the game tonight? Maybe. Why? Stop it, you know why. I'll be there. Johnny has to work late. I'm gonna be all alone. Really? What about the rest of the cheerleaders? I mean, after the game, at the bonfire. Okay. Hey, what the heck you think you're doing with my girl, Shine Boy? Leave him alone, Johnny. We're just talking. I'm allowed to talk, aren't I? Not the Shine Boys, you ain't. We don't mess with trash, Becky Joe. Trash? Big talk come from the mayor of the dump. Hey, guys. Enough. You're lucky, shine boy. One of these days you won't be. Guess who'll be there? <laughs> what are you doing here all alone, shine boy? You're usually hanging out with those poor Bradford boys. What are you doing with trash like that, man? You shine boys think you're so cool. Hey, didn't I see you hanging out with Becky Joe at the game last week? <laughs> well, I thought you were talking about last night at her place. You little punk. That's why she didn't pick me up. <laughs> what are you afraid she'll aim higher than your lazy butt? You shut your mouth, you moonshine and trash. Yeah, you and class don't only mix in the same sentence. You mess with the wrong man. <laughs> hey, Johnny. You okay, Ken? Do I look okay? You do look kind of funny. That's normal look. Thanks a heap. Come on, Johnny. Just give me a reason, man. Well, let's go. You watch your back, Ken. You too, fellas. Thanks for help, guys, but I had it covered. Yeah, sure looked like it from here. Yeah, clearly. What did you do to Becky Joe this time? <laughs> nothing? Well, nothing that any other red-blooded American wouldn't want to do. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help, Mike. I really oh appreciate my it. God. Yeah, yeah, that's what brothers are for. Oh, we got some work to do before the game. I think Grady wants to fix his 67 again. 
Why? The old man does everything. Why can't he fix it himself? He has more important things to deal with. Hey, Ken, how'd you like the game? Hi, oh, Becky Joe. What are you doing here all alone? Oh, nothing. Just waiting for you to come along. You want to take me for a ride in your car? Look, I really like you, but you have a boyfriend. And he's crazy jealous. Where's he at, by the way? Oh, he has something to do with his old man or brother. Are you going to kiss me? <laughs> Johnny, he's a little unhinged, so probably not. What are you saying? Look, Becky Joe, your boyfriend, he's really not a good guy. Maybe you should go up with my younger brother, Mike. He's a great guy, and he thinks you're really sweet. So you don't want me, but you want to set me up with your younger brother? I don't want a kid. <laughs> it's not that I don't like you, it's just, look, you're not really my type. I'm not your type. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Stop, I'm with Johnny, leave me alone. Just shot, boy, you're just... Lucky shine, boy. Next time I'll kill you. Work. I think you're amazing up there. Don't listen to them idiots. You should let me get you a drink. My name's Ken, by the way. Oh, all right. I don't know. It's just my life, my chance at a singing career, and they couldn't even give me one minute to get myself together. I blew it. No, you didn't. You should let me get us some drinks that's all right with you. It'll help you calm down and help you forget about them jerks. Yeah. Okay. It's Gloria. My name is Gloria. I really appreciate what you said. Welcome. Hey, what's going on? Good looking. What's a girl like you doing a place like this? How about a drink, Blondie? Hey man, isn't it past your bedtime? Get lost. Excuse me? I don't think so. It makes you think you get all the girls around here. This enchanting young lady and I were just getting to know each other, so buzz off. I'm serious, Mike. She's with me. I was just getting her some drinks. Get lost. Fighters keepers, besides you're even here. I'm not joking, Michael. Take a hike. I'm tired of you pulling this crap on me. I am not backing down. You get lost. What? I tried to fix you up with Becky Joe last night. She wanted nothing Becky to do Joe. with it. I'm sorry, brother. I tried. You tried? Yeah, it looked like you were setting yourself up pretty good last night, right? Right? No. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. This is stupid. Look, you have to believe that I put a good word in for you. But me and her, we was here first. I was just getting us some drinks. Fine. You want to hang out with garbage, you'll smell like garbage. We're done. Morning, Ken. Where's that kid brother of yours? I don't rightfully know. Me and Mike got into a bit of a tussle last night, so I think it'll be just me this morning. I'm sorry to hear that, hon. Maybe he just needs some cool off time. Or maybe he'll show up in a bit. I don't know. He was, he was pretty ticked off at me last night. Where's Grady? 
I sure wish he'd come back to church with us. We miss him and your mom, you know. She was a wonderful lady. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, he still hides away on the back 40 and will come and check on us, well, me from time to time at the shop. Well, you just come on in with me and sit next to us. You're always welcome. So is Grady. We still pray for him, you know. And for the soul of your dear mama, Lala Jane. Thank you, ma'am. I dearly appreciate that. We're all broken people to some degree. I'm broken. However, we are put here on this earth to live together in peace and harmony. We need to show compassion if we want compassion in return. We're not perfect. We're not made to be perfect. We're humans. It's important to remember God is grace. We all believe in God or we wouldn't even be here. His grace, His presence is always in our hearts and in our souls. About time you guys get started. That rear end come in for the Mustang? Yeah, yeah, I got it sitting right behind the beast boss, man. You sure it's the right one this time? It should be. Uh, we got this from LSN.com. Andy, he always gets it right. Besides, I double checked all the numbers, so I guess, I guess it's gonna work for us. You guess? At what time will be ready? Ready? Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, when, Wednesday, if we don't dilly dink around, she ought to be ready for you to test drive on time. Not funny, Grammy. I want it done tonight. Get some of the guys. As a matter of fact, tell the guys us to drop everything they're doing and get on it right now. I want to test drive tonight to make sure everything's just perfect. All right. You heard the boss. You heard the boss, man. We got to get this night into night. Get them guys and we'll get it on. Hey, Kat. How's it going, Sean? Real good. Um, you care if I get that uh, last set of jumper cables over there? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. I, uh, I really like that shirt. <laughs> this old thing? I only wear it when I don't know what to wear. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? No, I, I don't think so. Um, so are you going to pork chops Monday night? You know I'll be there. I need to get to Nashville. Well, I saw you the other night at the racetrack, and you were amazing. I mean, if I can help out, or if there's anything that you need, can I maybe give you a ride, or get me carrying your guitar, or piano, or just be there for moral support? Thanks, Sean, but no. Um... Wait, I really don't have time to grab Emma, Billy, Ray, and Missy. Could you please? It's just, I had to leave early, you know, and it would really help me out. Sure thing, I, I can do that. So, um, I guess I'll see you Monday night. Don't dilly dally. I have to restock the motor oil, and we're all out of jumper cables. Sean Flanagan just bought the last set. I swear, he comes in here every week. What's he working on? I can't figure it out. Hey, gorgeous. You still think that think Sean's working on the car? Shh, of course she does, silly. Until then, she'll figure it out. Let her concentrate on her music. I'd rather her do that than run off and get hitched. Next. Jamie and Jones This one's for the angels 
stuck by me when the going got tough This one's for my children and the woman that I love And all of the blessings sent down from above This one's for my inner hate that you have turned to love This one's for you Hey guys. <laughs> All right, boys, give her some room. She's got work to do. Tis the season. Come on, Grady, they're just being friendly. But he's right, fellas. I need all you got for now. All right, Cat, we'll fix you up. We can't keep you mom and Paul waiting. Besides, this here's our special holiday batch. What holiday is it, Cookie? <laughs> shine day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is shine day. Well, whatever you're doing, it's selling like fireworks on the 4th of July. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. Now, tell me something, youngin'. How's your singing career coming? You made it big yet? You ain't gonna forget us you get rich and famous, are you? What? No way. <laughs> Next week is a big showcase and my nerves are shot. I just hope they like my music. Ah, uh, whatever it'll be, it'll be. You've been doing this ever since you was knee high to a grasshopper. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks, Grady. I really want this more than anything. I'm actually playing a new song tomorrow at church. You should come hear it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to burst into flames. Me and the big guy ain't exactly on speaking terms. I understand. Don't you think it might be time, though? I, I mean, I wrote this song for you. I sure would love for you to hear it. I better go before we all get blowed up. I sure wish he'd come and hear you tomorrow, honey. He never talks about her anymore. He blames the good Lord, but he blames himself, too. He needs to hear what I've been dreaming about. I mean, I'm having conversations with my grandma who I've never met. That is pretty strange. Let me work on him. Thanks, Cookie. I appreciate it. Grady, I have to get back. All right, you're all loaded up. It's your big break. If it comes, you got to grab it. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want to lose you, too. Nothing could ever take me away from you. This is my home. This is where my heart will always be. Well, remember all that glitters and gold. Family's the most important thing. Oh, Grady, I won't let that happen. You know, your Uncle Mike used to play piano. I used to sit and listen to him tickle the keys all night long. Wow, no kidding? Yeah. Well, I bet we would have gotten along perfectly then. You know, I would have loved Grandma Lila Jane, too. Yeah, she she was a fiery spirit. She kept me on the straight and narrow, that's for sure. Well, you've got things to do, and I do too, so you better get going, girl. Yes, sir. I better get back before Mom and Dad are on my case. Good morning, Cat. Are y'all ready for your big song? I'm ready. I'm gonna get set up right now. Run on in there. Run on. Good. Good morning, Mayhem family. How are you doing this fine and glorious day? Just fine, Reverend, and yourself? Doing wonderful. Hey, is Grady coming today? I don't imagine, Reverend. Well, Cat's song is about Lila Jane. She didn't tell you? No, Reverend, she didn't. Maybe we should all sit down and talk after church. Sound good? Sounds like a fine idea. Great. Tommy, Ken, let's go get our seats. Oh, yeah. Good morning. 
Good morning, everyone. I get this dream. A couple months running, yeah, it just won't leave me. A beautiful woman standing there in white. Well, I don't know her, but I think I. Cause she takes my hand Oh, the calmness she's bringing When she looks at me And she starts singing You're gonna make it, baby girl You're gonna make it If there's a chance that comes your way You've gotta take it This dream kept happening for a while I was dreaming about my music I'm trying to write and play piano as this woman keeps walking closer and closer to me on some huge empty stage. You're gonna make it. This woman, she stops and smiles at me. She doesn't say a word, she just stares at me. And even though we never met, I, I knew it was Grandma. She's beautiful. Not old, not sick. I told her she was a weirdo. Did she say anything? No. Why well, shut up and let your sister talk? Go on, honey. She just kind of stood and studied me. And then I glanced down at the piano and when I looked up, she was gone. That's just like mom. I had to talk to her to, to see if it was possible. So I said hello. She told me she'd been watching me for a long time now. And that really freaked me out. <laughs> then she told me I was the apple of Grady's eye. She fears that his anger might keep him from seeing her again. Why didn't you tell us sooner? Oh gosh, Mom, it's a bit out there. Would you believe me? Honey, I'll always believe you. I'm sure Lila Jane was a wonderful woman. Sounds just like Mom. Worrying about Dad from the grave. I sure wish Grady would have come to church today. I do too, Reverend. I do too. You're not mad, are you, Mom? Honey, I'll never be mad. I just wish you'd told me sooner so I could help you through this Wonderful. Uh, what would you call this, Reverend? I'd say it's a miracle, Gloria. A downright miracle. Do you still talk to her? No, it, it's been a while. But she certainly inspired me, and, and that's why I wrote the song. And that's why I want Grady to hear it. He needs to know that she's fine. She's waiting for me. Good morning, Cher. Anything new? Just the usual. Have you finished your rounds yet? Uh, yeah, but there's not much going on out there, Cher. Did, Did you eat all my Boston creams? <laughs> they were delicious! You should have been here earlier. Tina made homemade muffins. You better go grab you one before they're all gone. Right. 
This is it? Seriously? I'm supposed to eat that? But my Boston creams. All right. So what's the plan today? Burglars are up again. This latest round of robberies just doesn't make any sense. We can't have this kind of behavior here in Baxter. The good citizens deserve much better. Oh, yes, sir. I'm gonna get out there and start souping around a bit. Oh, by the way, are we doing that double shift tonight at uh, Pork Chops? All right, well, I'll see you. You know what, I, I, I thought, oh, I'll see you there. Oh. All right, boys, I'll be back in about an hour. Looks like a big banner weekend. I got a meeting with Mike at the parlor. No problem, Tiny, we'll be here. All right, just make sure that no one gets too close to the still, all right? No problem. Any extra tonight. Expecting a big crowd for Clayton and his guests. A lot of people coming to see your sister, too. Oh, well, yeah. She'll be here. Been running around all day, making sure she has everything just right. She's driving mom crazy. Jeez. Women. Can't live with them? Well, you know. Yeah, I know. I've been married a few times myself. Thanks a million, Doc. And uh, I'll be back later tonight to help you drink some of that fine hooch. Grady cooked it up special. Thanks, Tommy. I'll see you tonight. Oh, so is uh, Grady coming out tonight? You know, because Cat will be up there. <laughs> you never know about Grady. He's not a big fan of crowds, although he's a big fan of cats. I got a feeling he might just grace us with his presence tonight. Right. Hey, Mrs. McDowell. Got your delivery for the church bazaar. This should spice up bingo a bit. Well, I sure am hoping it gets us closer to that new organ we need, Tommy boy. All right, well, be careful with that stuff. It's a strong batch. Are you gonna sing the dream song? I want to. Do you think Grady will show up? Well, your song is only one of two mysteries in this family, honey. However, I know how much he loves you. He might surprise you. I know this sounds crazy, but Grandma Lala Jane will not let this rest. Grady just has to hear my song. A message from heaven. Oh, Lord. You know, years ago, Grady would have believed in this. But somewhere or other along the way, he just got lost when Mom passed. I remember when the doctors found the cancer, less than two months, she was gone. I was 13, Mike was almost 12. And it seemed like after that, he was just married to that still. He would just come in and check on us, just to make sure we had our work done. And if it wasn't, 
We got the belt. Jeez, Dad, what did you do? We did what we was told. We learned to do the work. And he would leave us a list on the breakfast table every morning, and he would come in and make sure it was done by sundown. Well, how often did you get punished? For a while, but it was harder on Mike than it was me. I felt sorry for him, but I was only 13. I mean, what could I do? It's like we just learned to work around him and do our things because he was always half cocked by supper time. Wow, they had a, I never knew. You weren't supposed to, honey. Your grandpa's a great man with a broken heart. I really lost two parents when mom passed. Seems the only thing that gave him comfort was that still and cursing God. But he always made sure me and Mike was in church even though he never did again. Oh, wow. You better get going. You're going to be late. Now, Scoop. Is that everything, or are you going to make another trip? No, I have to get back. It seems like everyone and anyone who's anybody is celebrating something. All right, Tiny. Well, keep your eyes open. I don't know what it is, but... I got this strange feeling. Something ain't quite right. Don't worry about it, bro. You're gonna take ship here. Thanks, brother. You know, you're the closest thing to family I've had in a long time. Did you ever wish you could go back and do things different? Anyway, don't let me hold you up. Don't worry about it, man. We'll be all right. Always the optimistic, gentle giant. Always. Get on out of here, but uh, watch your back. We'll do. Love you. Love you too. girls were late again. Now get back to work. I know anything that you sing is going to be great. Thanks, Sean. I'm nervous. You? Nervous? No, I've never seen that side of you. Hey, is there anything that I can do to help? Is there anything that you need? I just need to do a great job. So will you let me know what you think? And don't sugarcoat it. I can do that. I, I wouldn't lead you astray. And you girls better be brutally honest, too. We will. The truth is, everything you do is amazing. Face it, you're gonna win next Saturday. Yeah, of course you will. Do you want a beer? Uh, just a water, please. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, come on, Sean, give her some space. All right, fine. I'll be right back. gentlemen, that was Clayton Q. Now one of Clayton's bandmates is going to play us a little song. Okay. 
Cat, you up for this tonight? <laughs> hey, look, I can tell you're nervous. Don't worry, you'll be great. Thanks. I just want this so bad. I hope I don't disappoint the crowd. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You're up next. Everybody, that was Steve Gill. It's here for Steve Gill. Now, for a hometown favorite, Cat Mayhem. Come on, Cat. I'm looking at you like you're the only one I never had so much fun You've got me all undone But I told you, baby I whispered in your ear We can't top this feeling So let's end it here so why don't you call me up? Why don't you call my bluff? We don't have to call this love if you don't want to, baby. Don't need to say our vows. Just call me up. Give me the cash, and no one gets hurt. Tape them up. Put them over there, boys. And make sure you get their feet. You don't want to do this, buddy. Shut up. I'm not your buddy. And I'm not your friend. And you say one more word, and I've got no problem with putting a hole clean through you. You got it, shine boy? Call me up. Why don't you call my bluff? We don't have to call this love. If you don't want to, baby. Where's your keys, Doc? In the truck. Good. Put them over there, guys. Now, fellas, remember, this is all just between us, right? I would hate for anything bad to happen to you. Take their mouse. Let's go. There were quite a few of them. It came out of nowhere. Doc and I were just outside getting some fresh air and they waved a gun in our faces, grabbed our cash in our cars and took off. They didn't take anything else. Is there something you're not telling me? What else could they want? Doesn't make any sense. Tell me what, you okay, son? Yeah, Pops. Come on, Rich, what is going on here? Who are these people? I can't say much now. I'll let you know if I hear anything. You guys be careful out there. Bubba, get your statements. I'll see you back at the station. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'm on it. Later, Tongo boy. Tongo! Now, Doc, if you remember anything else, you holler at me, all right? His legs are tight. Hey, 
stop struggling. This one right over here looks about your size. I've got no problem of having my boys stick you in that coffin. Do you want that to happen? Do you want that to happen? Then stop struggling. Now, you're gonna count to a thousand and we're gonna leave. If you get up before a thousand, something bad is gonna happen to you. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Nod your head. Good. Then put your head down. Let's go. You want to tell me what's going on? I'm not sure, Rich. Tiny called me as I was heading into the office. What are you guys doing way up here in Marion County? Marion County swap right now, so they called us in. Deputy, I don't know. take those two. Take their statements. Yes, sir, sure. Let's talk, Mike. I need to take a closer look, but according to Tiny, all the dearly departed have been accounted for, which is good because I'd really hate to lose Bessie Tittleman. She's a country treasure. I really don't know what they're after. Doesn't make sense. Other than a few items in my safe, the only thing of any value in there are the caskets. So, I don't know. Talk to my guys. I don't know. We just got in here, and I don't know where these dudes came up with guns waving in our faces. Hey boys, do you have anything to contribute? Let's get back to the office. If you think of anything, gentlemen, give us a call. And remember, no heroes. These guys could be very dangerous. Welcome, gentlemen. I'm Sheriff Richard Bradford. My deputy, Bubba Bradford. And I assume that you're the two ATF agents that we were told would be in town today. Yes, sir, I'm Agent Schuler. This is Agent Shemansky. And I must say, Sheriff, this is quite an upscale operation you got going on here. Nice wall. <laughs> Sheriff, we're getting reports of moonshine activity in the area. We think it may be associated with a couple armed robberies in the area. We have a very nice, quiet town here. We've really had no major crime in a long time, except for the past few days. So, maybe you could help us figure out what's going on here. But moonshine, that's news to this office. Well, Sheriff, we've got it from a reliable source that there's at least five stills operating in the backwoods here. You don't say. Wow. Go figure. I've been sheriff here for many years. We've never had any issues with moonshine, firearms, certainly nothing that would warrant the presence of two such distinguished special agents as yourselves. If I weren't so perplexed, I'd be impressed. Now, Sheriff, we're not here to put the blame on anyone, just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, you both know the federal government doesn't allow or tolerate the sale of illegal and untaxable moonshine, right? Yes, sir. The government always seems to get their money. But the implications of moonshine business is ridiculous. If there were any stills in these parts, I'd surely know about it. Well, Sheriff, don't give it a second thought, because the big boys are here, and we've come a long way to right the wrongs of your little town. So just step aside, and we'll show you how it's done. And, uh, anyone that takes some notes. Uh. It's 
get out of here. Bob, Bob. <laughs> We gotta stay on top of this thing till we figure out who's buying these robberies. I want everybody to double up on runs. I don't want nobody making a delivery loan. Understood? You got it, boss. Well, let's get back to work. All right, hey, before you run off, uh, I just got a text from Bubba. He said something about the popo on the way, federal agents, and then he starts rambling a bit. You, you know how Bubba is. Battle stations, gentlemen. You heard the boss man, everybody. Battle stations. All right, guys, go. Go. Hey, you better let Gloria know. Thanks, Grimey. Double check everything. You got it, boss. Sheriff and Bubba here. They got company of the federal guys. Lockdown positions pronto. On it, Mom. Everybody, listen up. Today we are just a normal auto parts store, okay? Now carry on. Thank you. Sure, deputy. What do I with this pleasure? Look in. Oh, I mean, Mr. Mayhan. Guess who come to visit our little town? Special Agent Schuler and Samantha. What top of the morning, gentlemen? What's this all about? Good morning, Mr. Mayhan. I'm ATS Special Agent Schuler. This is Special Agent Shemansky. And we're investigating the rash of recent robberies around here. We've had a few reports of some moonshine thefts in the area. It's kind of hard to believe since moonshine's illegal in the state of Tennessee and every other state for that matter. Moonshine? <laughs> you don't say. Well, what's this got to do with me, Sheriff? It's just speculation now, Mr. Mahan. Just speculation. We've had a couple of complaints. The agents and I are looking into it. There's also been a number of classic cars stolen over the last few weeks, and we're hoping you might, might know something. You got a nice place here, Mr. Mahan. Do you mind if we take a look around a bit? What you see is what you get. And if you don't have a warrant, I really don't have time for your nonsense. Hey, like I said, if you excuse me. Hold it there, Hoss. Don't get your dander up. We're just here inquiring about what's going on around here. But if you don't fully cooperate, we will be back with that warrant you're so worried about. If I find out anything, I'll definitely call you two. But like I said, if you excuse me, I got a shop in the garage front here. As you can see, I'm extremely busy today. So, gentlemen, have a good day. Sure. Good. Sorry about that, kid. I had no idea they were that close behind me. I didn't even have a chance to warn you. Hey, no problem, Rich. I appreciate everything you do for us. I'm just glad that Bubba was able to get hold of Grimey. They're not giving out a lot of information. That means they don't have a lot. I really appreciate your friendship. You say something about some cars that were stolen? Well, some really classic cars. Uh, oh, another thing. You won't believe who I ran into the other day. Uh, your brother, Mike. Oh, wow. It's been a long time. How's he doing? Seems to be doing real good. You might reach out to him. You never know. Well, if little brother wants me, I mean, you know, he knows where he left me. So, it's gonna leave it that, Rich. Good day. Yes, sir. You've only got two today. Just two? Just two today. 
Are you sure? Are you sure you really saw him in here, Bubba? Well, I can't really say I saw him myself, but my buddy called the office and he asked if they recovered any of those stolen classic cars yet because he saw two or three beautiful cars drive right into this area. Yep. Deputy, this buddy of yours, is he a reliable source or a nut job? <laughs> <laughs> nut job? <laughs> it was an official call, Agent. Official. Sheriff, is it okay if I just poke around and make sure nothing's here? Good idea, Bubba. Right. Thank you. Come on. Yeah, you do that, son. And we'll wait right here till you get back. Find anything, Dap? I know they're here, Sheriff. Or they were here at one point. I mean, I can, I just feel it. Look here, Barney. You give us a call if something actually comes up. Sheriff, let's go, Ski. Yeah, Barney, give us a call. <laughs> Barney? I'm Is that some movement over there? I can't see a thing out of these. <laughs> Use these. Thanks. Still can't see anything. <laughs> Gotta remove the caps, genius. idea that something's going on over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. We have a great show for you. Uh, be sure to keep your bartenders away. As a matter of fact, Bob, bring me a drink. You need to broaden your horizons. Play for people that never heard you before. But these people are so different. Exactly. You need to play for people that haven't heard you so you can see how they react. I sure hope they like me. Look, when I started out, I played all kinds of bad, small, little bitty tiny dives. This place, it's like the Taj Mahal. Thanks, Brian. You can be like O'Brien here and just go out and play. Or you can go out there and just get lost in your music, girl. How do you know so much about performing in music? Wait, you mean you haven't told her? Told me what? Who you represent? Who you've been on the road with? Well, you better start talking, mister. Let me see. Okay, folks, it's just about time to get started. Uh, wait a second. Welcome to the stage, Clayton Key. Welcome to Nashville, where dreams will come true. 
If the right person wants in You'll make a million or two Put the neons on Broadway Don't like giving in Thank you for coming Drinking and loving Y'all come back again We'll see you the same time tomorrow, fella. About closing time. Wow, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Listen, someone could be out there tonight. It could be the one that changes your career. So just get up there and get lost in your music. You can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, Cat Mayhem. Another sleepless night What else is new? Been sitting here for hours Just thinking about you But I never even cross your mind It's clear and plain to see it would help to ease my trouble, oh my, just to know you sometimes think of me. Legend has it that when you can't sleep, you're awake in someone else's dream. Well, maybe this is my one chance to be on your mind tonight. It could jog the memory of our love, yeah, just mine. Baby, if this sings true, I will never sleep As long as I'm awake in your dreams Oh, in your dreams Well, baby, please don't forget me That was Cat Mayhan, everybody. Really? You're doing this tonight? He just got out of prison. And now you're gonna drag the girls down with you. And I don't wanna do this, Johnny. What if they find out I'm part of it? They won't. I've had this plan for a long time. Johnny, I don't like this. Fast, easy cash. Just do what I told you. Darby. We go in to distract the bartenders and barbacks for a few minutes. Good, and don't forget. Are you ready for our next contestant? Coming to the stage now is Brian Wire. Hi, I'm Brian Wire, and this is a song I wrote for my little girl. Hey. Go, go. Darby, get your butt back there and distract Billy. I don't like this, Shelby. As a matter of fact, I hate it. Oh, Billy. I need some time off. Would you be a dear and help me look at the schedule? Uh, I'm a little bit busy right now. It'll just take a moment. We never ask you for anything. Keep your mouth shut. You may live through the night. I'm just here for the cash. CB and Banjo, take my car, 
and meet us back at the barn. 10 4, boss. What is she doing here? She saw you, Johnny. So I grabbed her. Great. Let's add another felony to the one I've already committed tonight. Do you know who this is? Who do I care? That is Cat Mayhan. Ken's daughter. So, sweet pea. Just let me go right here. And I'll tell my dad to take it easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I got plans for you. And your daddy. Big plans. My dad will be coming for me. You'll see. <laughs> Let him come. Where's my daughter? Why aren't you and Sherlock out looking for my little girl? We need to know, does the name Johnny Rockman mean anything to you? Johnny Rockman? I haven't heard that name in a coon's age. He was a high school bully. Last I heard, he went up to Statesville for armed robbery or something. Well, he was also charged with attempted murder. Apparently tried to beat a man to death during one of those robberies. He was released three weeks ago. Hey, three weeks ago. Ain't that about when all these robberies started around here, boss man? That's, that sounds about right. Just wait. Me and my family will take it from here. Bo, we got it from here. You just stay put. And no vigilante antics. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Your brother's daughter has been kidnapped. What? Ken's got to be going crazy. Rich, take me to him. Hold on just a second. We've got to go get some backup. Tiny, boys, let's go. Grammy, I want you to grab Peggy. Go to the north end of town, work your way south. Tommy, boy, grab Nub. Go to the east end of town, work your way west. All right, let's go, guys. Hey, Ken, we're here. What Bubba. we do? You all right? My daughter. I don't know who. I don't know what. What's done, is done, brother. They got Cat Mike, they got my daughter, man. Johnny Rockman's got her. Tell me what you need. I assume you have a plan. Wait, wait, wait a second. Johnny Rockman? I knew that name sounded familiar. Is that the Johnny from school? That's the freaking yeah who had hated her guts, man, all the way through her school. Hey, what the heck you think you're doing with my girl, shot boy? Jeez Louise, this old lady lives up by the quarry in an old shack near the mill. That's got to be it. Well, let's hit it, Sheriff. Come, Come on, on, guys. Let's go. You guys stay here. Take your orders. Okay, this is how we're gonna get out of this. We gotta grab our stuff and we gotta go and now. Get the girls, get them in there and get ready. Take Doc's truck to my brother's. Get this place ready to torch now. Got it, Johnny. What are we gonna do about her, Johnny? We, what are we gonna do? What were you thinking, woman? It was your brilliant idea to get her in the first place and bring her here. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna go wrong. It's gonna be just like clockwork. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Yeah, is that what they taught you in prison, Johnny? Keep it up, woman. You will burn like this dump. Get in there. Get the girls ready. Let's move it. Now. Where's CB and Banjo? Get those two morons here now. 
Those idiots have the cash from the bar. I said I want them here now. Man, what does Johnny want now? He keeps blowing me up. I told him we need to lie low. Man, you know what Johnny wants? He's wanting something moved again. Where's her cut? That's what I want to know. Exactly. I'm about to own the Mickey Mouse stuff for real, dude. I'm about to blow this whole operation, shoot up North Park, Kentucky, find me a country girl, Ooh. lay low for a little while. Ooh. You feel me? I feel you. I love where your head's at, brother. You know, Nanny always told me I needed to follow the Lord. Maybe it's time for that kind of change. You know, we've been doing this outlaw thing for a long time. Too long. Everybody deserves redemption. Dude, I'm on the same page, bro. I know it's, if we go to Johnny's today, it is a wrap, dude. I'm out, dude. Yeah. I am out. Yeah, I don't blame you. But before we make all those big decisions, how about we pop the trunk and jar down on some of that good old brain juice, Woo! huh? Yeah. I'm with that, I'm on yeah, the same page, get our minds brother. right. I'll be yeah. right back. Get that gas. I want it on everything. More. Get that over there. Douse it. Douse it all. Burn, burn to the ground. Now. Yes, sir. I think you need to come see this, brother. You see what I see? Brother? I think we just found our exit strategy. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Lord works quick right here. Thank you, God. Thank you, Johnny. Yes. We need to call Johnny, let him know we're still on his side. That way he don't get no crazy ideas. Absolutely, but we're right. not going to Johnny's, though, no. are we? No. We're out. Ah. <laughs> Deuces, Johnny. Deuces. Yeah. God bless you, Journey, Johnny. Deuces. No, no, no. The cops are on their way. Move it. We got to get out of here. What kind of police perimeter is this? Agents, you go left. Ken, Mike, you stay here with these officers. Let's go. I don't think so. Well, if it is my old pal, Shine Boy. Romeo Baxter High. Come on, Johnny, she's just a kid, man. Let her go. What's it feel like, Ken? That someone try to steal your woman! Johnny, I never tried to steal a bitch, Joe. She was always on the move, man. She's after anybody with wheels. That's my little girl. Have a heart, man. Screw your heart. Today it ends. Oh, hey. oh, we gotta go and get him, Sheriff. Uh, uh, uh,
I don't know if you believe in prayer, but now would be a good time to say one. Let's go. Introduce you to your uncle Mike. My brother, your uncle, your Mike. Fine. Thanks to Dad and, and everyone, and especially Uncle Mike for busting through the wall while the building was on fire, and, and there were guns. And... What? Wait. Mike was there? The building was on fire? <laughs> never mind. I love you. I love you too. I thought I was never going to see you again. <sighs> Is this for me? Oh my lord! She's beautiful! Dad! Grady! Mom! Thank you so much! We thought you'd need a decent looking, mechanically sound vehicle for your big chance in Nashville, baby. And you'll never guess who worked on this surprise the longest. I hope you like it, Cat. I didn't think you'd mind if your dad let me help out. You? I just can't believe how beautiful she is. It's nothing compared to you. Look at this guy. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Sean. 
So that's the reason for all your trips to the auto parts store. <laughs> Whatever you say, Cat. And cat, she purrs like a kitten. Get it, kitten? Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out for Cat's Safe Return. Cat, come on up here. I've got an announcement to make. I've signed with Automatic Fame in Nashville, Tennessee for a U.S. tour. Gosh, Clayton, that's amazing. You deserve it. Thank you. And I'm going to need an opener. Who do you guys think that should be? Cat, of course it's you. I wouldn't have it any other way. You want to come out on tour with me? Yes. <laughs> you deserve it. So the latest addition to the museum is that cute little Herbie the Love Bug over there. But I thought you might want to see some of the other cars in this TV and movie car museum. Everything from the uh, Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh my gosh. To the DeLorean. A DeLorean? Absolutely. Or the Giza? No, it's secured. Oh. Oh my gosh, Mom. It's the Batmobile. <laughs> So sorry, Dad. It's okay, sir. Welcome home. I'm just glad you're home. Thank the Lord you're where you belong. Where we all belong. Get to inside. Got away in the charger. I think the coast is clear now. Where are you? We left the stage. You're in trouble with the law again, Johnny. <laughs> I've been in trouble with the law since the day I was born. I'll get you, Johnny. Yeah. 